Hello everyone, welcome to tutorial 10 of LTech 620. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to add texture to text in our designs. Now, what do we mean by texture? Well, if you watch the video on hierarchy and functionality, one of the examples they showed was the word kettle used in kettle potato chips. And you can see here that the text has a texture to it in that it's not just block letters with a very clean simple design but it looks a little bit rough and almost has a feel to it it's not just clean pure text and that's an example of a texture here's another one here we have the word music and you could see here it's not just clean pure red block letters but it actually looks like it's been roughed up or beat up again it feels like it has some sort of grit or feel to it and that's an example of a texture now it doesn't necessarily have to be gritty it could be smooth but it's this idea that there's this almost kind of tactile feel to the text itself and that's what textures allow us to do in our designs so let's learn how to do that in Affinity Designer. And you can see here I have some block text set up here and it just says LTech 620, but let's learn how we can add some texture to this font. So what we want to do is we're actually going to switch from the designer persona over to the pixel persona. So I'm going to click on pixel and then what I want to do is select the layer that my text is in and then what I'm going to do is click this button right here which is a mask layer. So I've selected that and you can see here that it's added a mask layer underneath my font layer that says LTech 620. Now what I want to do is switch over to, I happen to already be on it, the Brushes Studio. And so that's often next to color, swatches, stroke. We want to switch over to brushes. And you can see here there's all kinds of different brushes that we can use in the pixel persona. And so, you know, here's some dry media. If we just kind of scroll through these, these are all different textures that we can add to our designs. And so let's take a look at some of these. If you want more of like a marker effect, or let's say sprays and spatters, that might be kind of fun to work with. Let's work with one of these. And this one's a little too fine. I want something a little bit more grittier. So I'm gonna choose this one right here. Doesn't matter. Just choose one so that we can experiment a little bit. Now, what with your brush selected, now what you wanna do is come over to your tool set and make sure that you have your brush, your paintbrush selected. Now make sure it's this one here and not the one, the selection brush tool. You actually want the paint brush tool. They look alike, but you want this one here. So now what we want to do is make sure we have our mask layer selected. Now with my brush selected and my paint tool, I can just begin to paint right on this. And I'm just holding down the mouse key or the mouse button, and I'm just kind of painting some texture onto my text like that. Okay, beautiful. Now what I want to do is I'm going to switch back over, and boom, you can see that I have this nice textured font. And now, just to make it a little bit more interesting, what I'll do is let's put in a background, and uh, I'm going to make this uh, something kind of really bold, like a pink like this. And now I need to put it behind my text. And voila, you can see I have this really nice textured type in my design. So that's an example of adding texture to our text in Affinity Designer. Thanks everyone, have a great week, and I'll see you in Canvas.